Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. Today we're gonna to go through the steps on how to download and install Windows Server 2019 in a VMware environment. We're doing this in my lab environment, but you could be doing this in your uh, workplace or even in your personal lab environment. Uh, and we're gonna go through those steps right now. So my name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry and I absolutely love it. And today we're gonna to go through the steps on how to download and acquire a Windows Server 2019 ISO. We're gonna be downloading the trial from the Microsoft website, which is free to use for a 180 days. You can then apply a key that you have purchased and then you can use it indefinitely. Uh, you may have your own MSDN. You could also have your own volume license uh, distributor uh, or your vendor that you normally purchase licenses through. So however you're getting 2019, we're gonna get it. We're gonna have the ISO and then we're gonna go and load it into our VMware environment and build that VM. So I'm here on my MacBook Pro on my Mac. You can do this on Windows or on Mac, it doesn't really matter. As long as your computer has access to download the ISO and has access to then connect into a VMware environment, whether it be ESXi or vCenter. So let's just get onto our computer right now and go through those steps. So we've now logged into our browser on our computer. I'm on a Mac, uh, so I'm doing this via Google Chrome on a Mac. But if you're on a Windows computer, you just do it via your relevant browser. The process really is the same. We're just downloading the software, um, that's it. Uh, so what we're gonna search for is download Windows Server 2019. So this is going to be a trial version of Windows Server 2019 that we're gonna be using that is fully usable for uh, up to 180 days. And that is, uh, you can get that from the Microsoft website. So let's click on search. And what you'll see is there's a few things here. So we can download the trial, but if you are in a corporate environment, if you already are, say, a developer or something like that, you can actually get your Windows Server, of course, by purchasing it through a volume license, through Microsoft, through a vendor, through an MSDN if you're part of a developer network. But for the purpose of this demo, we're gonna be doing it via a trial version, which is fully usable. And this is something that you may want to be using and testing first. It's always good to test it first before doing it in prod. But we're gonna go and try Windows Server 2019 on Microsoft Evaluation Center. So right in here, there's a few things, a few different options. We're gonna select ISO and uh, we're going to say continue. You're gonna put in some information here that is relevant to your organization. If you're doing this at home, you put in some information that's relevant to you at home. But generally your first name, your last name, your company name, which could be home, uh, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to fail you if you put in correct information. We then say continue, English and download. And here is the ISO. So you'll see that it has started downloading in the bottom. Now the download is quite large, so it can take a little bit of time to download. But once we download it, we're gonna log into our ESXi host and upload it into a data store. So let's just let, the, let that do its thing, give it a bit of time and we'll check back once that is finished. So that download should now have completed. Uh, we've now got to upload that uh, Windows Server 2019 into a VMware data store. So whatever computer, whether it be Windows or Mac, the process is really exactly the same. You can choose to do this by connecting directly into vCenter or directly into an ESXi host. So either the ESXi host IP address or connecting to vCenter. So we're gonna go directly into an ESXi host. We're logging in as root and then putting in your password. You're then presented with all of the VMs that are running uh, or that exist within that ESXi host, so all the VMs that are being managed by this ESXi host. The first thing that we now need to do is get that ISO that we just downloaded added into the VMware environment uh, before we can even create a VM. So go into the storage area and what we're gonna do is we need to upload that ISO into a data store of some kind, okay? So you've got a number of data stores. I've got two, as you can see right here. My main data store for this demo is Prod NAS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on Prod NAS and select Browse. Now from within here, I'm presented essentially the contents of my data store. I've got a folder in here called ISOs, which I've created. And this is where I keep all of my ISO so that I can go and build VMs as I need to. So what is a good practice is to have some sort of a folder in a data store that contains a whole bunch of data, software, uh, ISOs, things like that. So if you don't have an ISOs folder, create one. You can just select the prod NAS folder, say create directory. So all we do from here, select the ISOs folder and click on upload. I'm gonna to navigate to the folder that contains my ISO. Now I'm on a Mac, 
If you're on a Windows, you're gonna be presented with Windows Explorer. Navigate now to your Windows Server 2019 ISO, which is this one right here. And now select it and click on open. That is now gonna to start to upload that file into this location on the data store. It may take a little bit of time depending on your network speed, but we'll just let that do its thing and we'll check back once it's finished. So the ISO will now be uploaded, which is all good. So we can now close that. Then the next step is now to go back into virtual machines and we go and create the actual VM. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a VM right up the top here. We wanna select create a new virtual machine. We'll give it a relevant name because it's just for my test. I'm just gonna call it test. You obviously give it a name that is uh, going to be meaningful uh, for what you're gonna be using this server for. You wanna select the compatibility mode that is relevant to your environment. If you have multiple ESXi hosts and some are earlier than 6.7 and you want the ability to be able to move this server 2019 VM between hosts, select the compatibility version that is most relevant to what you've got. So if you've got an ESXi host that is in six, select six and that will work in 6.5 and 6.7. But if you select 6.7, then you won't be able to move that VM to a ESXi host that is earlier than 6.7. The OS family will be Windows, the OS version. Now, because 2019 didn't exist when uh, this version of uh, 6.7 was released, it doesn't show up in my list, but it's not a problem. This is really just to provide uh, some default settings for your building of your operating system. So you can leave it as 2016, which is the latest one here. Select the data store that you want to use. I'm gonna be using my ProdNAS data store. This is where it's gonna be saved. This will provide you some defaults for your uh, Windows server. Uh, so you can customize this, you can add more CPU, add more RAM, you, um, you can add more hard drive space. So in my case, I want to have a 80 gigabyte hard drive rather than a, uh, the 40, but you can change this at a later stage without problem. Now what you want to do is, uh, it's easy if you have the ISO mounted as soon as you boot up this VM for the very first time. So what I like to do is under the CD DVD section right here, I'll go and navigate to data store ISO file. It will then bring up my data store browser and I'm now going to navigate to that Windows Server 2019 ISO which we downloaded and uploaded onto here. I select that ISO that we uploaded and click on select, ensuring that connect is ticked as well. Next, gives you a bit of a summary, making sure it's all okay. So really when now I power on this VM, it will detect that I've got a CD DVD drive turned on, that the ISO is where the source is, and then it'll mount that ISO and then start the installation. So we can now say finish. So here is my new server right here. So what we can do right here is power it on, and I'm gonna go into the console to see what is going on during this install and the loading of the files is now commencing. So this is a good sign. If you can see this, it means that the ISO has been discovered and that Windows Server 29 installation is now beginning. If you're not able to see this, then something has gone wrong or perhaps your ISO itself is corrupted. As long as you can get to this screen, we're in a good position. So from here, we can say next, we can say install now. Select which version of the operating system you want to be installing. I'm gonna say data center evaluation and I want the desktop experience, which is a full graphical environment. Accept the terms and conditions. I'm gonna say custom and just making sure that this is my hard drive. So if everything has worked okay, it should say the size of the drive that you created when you were building that VM or when you were building the shell, which is 80 gigs. So I've selected that and I'm gonna go click on next. So now the installation will begin. So it's gonna do a number of things in the background, copying the files and starting to get the installation ready. So let's just leave that. It may take a little bit of time. And through the magic of the internet, we are now done. It's gonna ask you to put in a password once the installation is finished for your administrator. So go ahead and put that in, making sure that it is a complicated password and then some final settings will be done in the background. And now you're presented with the primary screen. So you can now do control or delete on your keyboard and now you throw in your password. If you do have trouble with the keyboard doing control or delete, you can always go into the actions area up the top here, go in guest OS and send keys control or delete. So we are now in a fully operational logged in 2019 environment. It's detected obviously my network. So I want to say that I want this server to be discoverable uh, and server manager has popped up. So you can go and start to configure this server as need be. Of course you go and connect it to an adequate IP range, give it an IP address, etc. But you'll see that in the bottom, this particular version is evaluation and it's valid for 180 days. But if, if you have purchased the full version uh, via whatever method, uh, then you're good to go. But that is really the, uh, the basic steps right there. So that is it. Hopefully you were able to install 
2019 and it's running really, really nicely in your VMware environment. Uh, it's a great operating system and it has a lot of extra features previous to the 2016 version of server. Uh, but anyway, that is it. I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Digital Byte Computing and click on the notification bell to be up to date as I release new videos. But again, that's it for now. Comment as well. That's always good. And we'll see you next time. All the best.